Hi tech enthusiasts, welcome to yet another informative video from Simply Learn. This video is specially dedicated to newcomers like you guys who want to start their journey in the field of UI UX. Let me tell you a short story. There were two friends named Daniel and Martin who loved music. They wanted to make it easy for everyone to listen to their favorite songs anytime, anywhere. So they decided to create something amazing. They called it Spotify, an app that we all use today. As you see, you tap and your favorite song starts playing. What's really cool about Spotify is that it learns what you like and suggests new songs according to your taste. Daniel and Martin work really hard to make Spotify super easy to use. They made sure you can listen to your music on your phone, your computer, and even your smart speaker without any trouble. Now, people all over the world love Spotify. They love making playlists with their friends and discovering new music together. It made listening to music so much fun. But you know what? The reason Spotify became so popular isn't just because of the music. It's also because Daniel and Martin cared a lot about making the app easy and fun to use. They wanted everyone to enjoy their music without any hassle. That's why they worked hard on something called UI UX. And now, Spotify has 602 million active monthly users globally, and last year they generated an annual revenue of $14 billion. Now, UI UX stands for User Interface and User Experience. It's all about making sure that apps like Spotify are easy to understand and enjoyable to use. Thanks to UI UX, you can find your favorite songs with just a tap, create playlists with your friends, and discover new music that you'll love. UI UX is the heart of any product, and there's a huge demand for UI UX designers in the job market. It's a career where beginners make $60,000 to $100,000. In this video, we will discuss from A to Z that you need to know to begin with in this field. From the very basics of UI UX till giving you ideas on building your portfolio, we have got you covered. But before we begin. Craving a career upgrade? Subscribe, like, and comment below. Dive into the link in the description to fast track your ambitions. Whether you're making a switch or aiming higher, Simply Learn has your back. If you are interested in a career in UI UX, join our immersive UI UX certification program and become an expert in just five months. The course offers live online classes led by renowned faculty from IIIT Bangalore. Get hands on with Capstone projects, craft your portfolio on Dribble and receive personalized coaching on top designer tools. And the best part, Simply Learn's job assistance is here to support your journey every step of the way. Enroll now and unlock endless possibilities in the realm of UI UX design. The course link is in the description box and pinned comments. So without any further ado, let's get started. So let's understand better what UI UX is and what's the difference between the two. UI UX aims at improving the user experience and usability of a product. UI or user interface refers to the graphical layout of an application or website. It includes elements like buttons, menus, icons, and visual design aspects. UI design focuses on creating an intuitive, aesthetically pleasing interface that users can interact with effectively. UX or user experience, on the other hand, encompasses the entire user journey within the application or website. It involves understanding user behavior, conducting usability testing, and optimizing the overall flow and functionality to enhance user satisfaction. UX design aims to ensure that the product meets the user's needs and provides a seamless and enjoyable experience. In technical terms, UI is concerned with the presentation layer, while UX delves into the interaction design, information architecture, and usability aspects of the product. Both UI and UX work together to create a cohesive and user-centered digital experience. Now, you might be wondering what are the skills you need to get into this field? Is a degree required? And if not, where should you study the skills from? A lot of confusions. So, let's sort that out first. Firstly, you need soft skills like communication skills to communicate your ideas in the group. Collaborative skills. Learn to work with different people and a team. Develop presentation and storytelling skills and product thinking skills. Know what will make your product successful. Now, let's move on to the must-have technical skills. You must know how and when to do user research, know what method to execute and document your research findings. You must learn to analyze data and know to provide solutions. Learn how to map user flows to explain the flow of the product. 
Learn design tools like Figma. Be familiar with wireframing and prototyping. Now, wireframes are simplified outlines of a design, focusing on structure and layout without incorporating visual design elements. Prototypes are interactive models that simulate user interactions, providing a hands-on experience to test usability and functionality before the final implementation. Learn to properly implement visual designs like color, typography, contrast, etc. Okay, now let's move on to the different research techniques of UI UX design. User research is basically collecting information from the users and knowing their needs or expectations. Now, there are two types of researches, which are quantitative research and qualitative research. Quantitative research involves collecting and analyzing numerical data to identify patterns, predict outcomes, and generalize findings about a target audience or topic. Methods like quantitative usability testing, web analytics, card sorting, and surveys help gather data on user behavior and attitudes. Now, qualitative research, on the other hand, focuses on capturing subjective insights into users' experience to understand their underlying reasons, motivations, and behaviors. Common methods include user interviews, diary studies, focus groups, and usability tests. So, I hope you got an idea about what all you should cover in UI UX design at a beginner level. Now, let's move on to how would you need to apply these skills or what would be the tasks expected from you once you are into your job. Your tasks include conducting user research activities like interviews, surveys, and usability testing to understand user needs. You'll create wireframes and simple prototypes to show design ideas clearly. You'll also help choose colors, fonts, and icons for interfaces and design interactive elements like buttons and menus to make them easy to use. You'll observe users during testing sessions to gather feedback for improving designs. Collaborating with other teams, you'll ensure design goals match business needs and technical requirements. Now comes the most worried part. Will AI take away your jobs? While AI can help with some parts of UI UX design like making repetitive tasks easier or suggesting design ideas, it won't take over the whole job. Designing is about understanding people's feelings and emotions, and AI isn't great at it. Plus, humans bring creativity and problem-solving skills that AI can't match. So, while AI might be a useful tool for designers, it won't replace them because humans have a special touch that machines just can't replicate. Now, as a beginner, we are sure you will always be confused about which tool I should learn and get started with. There are numerous tools available, but for beginners in UI UX design, a user-friendly and versatile tool like Figma is often recommended. Figma is a web-based design tool that offers a collaborative environment, making it easy for beginners to learn and work together with others. It has a low barrier to entry with an intuitive interface and comprehensive features for designing interfaces, creating prototypes, and collaborating with team members. Additionally, Figma's cloud-based nature allows for seamless sharing and real-time collaboration, which is beneficial for beginners seeking feedback and learning from others. Overall, Figma is an excellent choice for beginners looking to dive into UI UX design. You can check out Simply Learn's YouTube channel for detailed tutorials on Figma. So, now you got an idea as a beginner what are the must-knows and what are required to learn in UI UX. But yeah, after learning all this, how is it going to help you? Or in fact, how are you getting a job? You can either work for companies by applying or do freelancing. Either way, you require a portfolio to exhibit your skills and projects. Some of the beginner level projects that you can do are redesign an existing website or app, design a product's landing page, design an analytics dashboard, and design a travel booking platform. Now, to build a portfolio as a beginner in UI UX design, follow these steps. Choose three to five of your strongest design projects to showcase in your portfolio. Focus on projects that demonstrate a range of skills and highlight your creativity and problem-solving abilities. For each project, create a case study that outlines the problem, your design process, and the solutions you implemented. Include wireframes, mockups, prototypes, and any user research or testing conducted. Build a portfolio website to showcase your projects and skills. Use a clean and professional design that reflects your personal style and brand. Include an About Me section, your resume, and contact information. Write engaging project descriptions that explain the context, challenges, and outcomes of each project. Use clear and concise language and highlight your contributions and achievements. Include screenshots, videos, or interactive prototypes of your projects to visually showcase your work. 
Use high quality images and videos to make your portfolio visually appealing and engaging. Ask for feedback from peers, mentors or industry professionals to improve your portfolio. Incorporate these suggestions and make revisions as needed to ensure your portfolio effectively communicates your skills and experiences. Now, once your portfolio is ready, share it with potential employers, recruiters and your professional network. Be proactive in promoting your portfolio and seeking the job opportunities that align with your career goals. So there you have it. We have covered everything you needed to know on how to start your journey in the world of UI UX. Hope you got an understanding of what exactly UI UX is and what all the skills and requirements are that you must work on. Check out more videos from our channel on UI UX where we have covered a wider range of topics. If you found this video helpful, do let us know by giving us a thumbs up. Stay tuned to more such videos. Thank you. Hi there, if you like this video, subscribe to the Simply Learn YouTube channel and click here to watch similar videos. To nerd up and get certified, click here.